What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. All right, guys. Today I have here my six-hour P229 DAC. All right, this one was a, a, a law enforcement uh, trade. I paid for around three hundred dollars. You know when I when it was all black. As you guys can see, I have um, I have done some work on it. Um, at the first, uh, a little background. I wanted to, um, you know, circle it, but then I decide to um, polish the whole slide and keep polishing, 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 polishing till it came out almost crumb. Okay, so this is the result, guys. Um, as you guys can see, um, there's barely, barely any, any hairline um, scratches on it. Some of the marks are uh, imperfections and the actual um, metal and pores of the slide, but um, I can't just keep polishing because, you know, I will be reducing that too much metal. But it looks pretty good. You know, I changed all the internals. I changed the, uh, the firing pin. I changed the spring uh, for the firing pin. And uh, mostly all the components are being cleaned out and polished. All right. So as you guys can, uh, if you are a DAC owner, you know, you know this, this this gun pretty much was made for the police, you know, to uh, uh, avoid accidental uh, discharge. All right. But that's not the case today. You know, um, I like the gun. Because it's it's a nice um, it's a nice carry gun. Now, I have guns in there. You know that the triggers are two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. You know, and and the reset is like almost nothing. You know, but you know you don't want to carry pretty much a gun like that. You know what I mean? Any anything that gets stuck and uh, putting the gun in your pocket, back in your pocket. Anything can happen, you know what I mean? And pretty much the gun is set for competition, you know what I mean? And it's, it's prone to, you know, have to uh, any any accidents with it, you know? So to be in the good in the, in the safe side, you know, I, I, I did some modifications on my Glock 17 and uh, some uh, modifications on uh, the Glock uh, 19 that I have but not in the internal, just the outside of the gun. All right. So this gun from factory uh, got two pulls, right? The first pull is around six pounds, and the second pull is around eight pounds, right? Oh, so uh, let's check the gun. The gun is clear. And that's the reset. As you guys can see, it's a little long reset. It's not a competition uh, uh, reset, and it actually uh, a double uh, double action. So if you have one uh, one ammunition, or the gun is loaded in the chamber, right, and you don't need to um, pull any. Uh, hammer to the back all you have to do is press the trigger and goes back you know but you can half cock it and it's lighter so you see all you have to pull all the distance you have to pull on the first shot to go bang that is not actually bad you know what I mean for self de self defense uh, situation, all right. Sometimes you get nervous, you know, you get stressed, and you don't know. I mean, I mean, if you're a professional shooter and you have all control of yourself, you're good. But for for a person that is not that familiar with a firearm, you know what I mean. Um, a two pound, three pound, three year like these kids are playing around. I see a bunch of uh. uh 
guy is kind of like in the first gun playing like it's a toy, right? And they trying to go to one one pound, two pounds, three, and they actually carry the gun with that uh, weight on three. That's on you, right? If you can afford that, you know, uh, the consequences, that's on you. But, you know, actually, if you are nervous in a situation and you press the trigger, you you have to mean it. You know what I mean? To actually that, I should pull that trigger and kill someone. All right. So, but anyways, so the the today video right is about how to enhance the two to nine. All right. You guys, uh, let me go in advance, right? Uh, because I know a bunch of guys are gonna comment, hey, why you don't convert the gun to a DA double action, single action. Right, I don't like the decoder, you know what I mean? And it's a challenge for me, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a challenge for me to make this gun better and I haven't seen a lot of videos or pretty much none, no videos at all about the DAG, how to make it better, all right? So today we're gonna work on that, okay? Um, it's easy uh, to make a DASA, uh, no action, see action, there's a uh, there's a web out there um, that sells the whole kit for hundred fifty dollars, and for another, I would say thirty something, forty something dollars, you can get the uh, SRT trigger set uh, to get that trigger uh, to three pounds, and it should reset. Okay, well actually not doesn't have nothing to do with uh, the three the the less pounds just with the short reset which i already have all those parts in this gun and we're gonna go one by one okay so um on the outside you know i had the uh six hour uh fox rock one x-ray uh the, i know there's a new one out there uh this one's pretty good if you haven't seen my videos uh, ch uh check my videos i think this one is a 450 lumens but it throw really far away all right um this piece storage chamber in 350 uh 350 sig um i got some hot grips weight um some six hour uh stainless steel with the sig engraved all right i already ordered uh some set of um handle grips um i'm gonna be modifying those that when they send it to me because I, I don't want to cover all the aluminum just the um so pretty much i'm gonna cut them to leave a liner so you can see all the aluminum around right and then put it in the front to, for mug grip um here i had changed the size to and let's go inside all right so like i said the gun the gun is uh let me move this out of the way the gun is already clear so we're gonna remove the slide we're gonna lock the slide to the bag I'm gonna pull this level to down, and then we're gonna let the slide go, okay? So here, um, on the slide, I already ordered, um, I have a list here, let me actually go to the list, so you guys can see it uh, while, while working on it, okay? So I ordered two springs, uh, wool springs, 15 pounds or 30 pounds. I tried to get the whole set from uh, um, Armory uh, Craft, because they sell this uh, um, guy rod with the uh, uh, different pounds of uh, different weights of Rickle Springs, All right? Now, I know this one is pretty good, you know? I like this spring right here. Um, of course, I'm not gonna throw it away. Um, so this one is a 28 grams guy rod, right? The one that I had in the gun before is not even the half of the way of that one. This one is hollow, you know, makes, of course, makes the gun uh, lighter. But, you know, for shooting, you want more weight. So, you know, you can reduce that muscle flip uh, the, the best you can. Okay. So I had the, uh, the gut rod. Uh, haven't tested yet. You guys can see it's brand new. I'm going in this weekend to... Uh, uh, shoot the firearm and then i've been i'm gonna be uh updating you guys with this okay 
and I have I had changed all the springs and the firing pin. Okay, so let me put this back and get out of the way. Um, just waiting on the on the springs on the recoil springs to go ahead and um, take it to the range and see which one works better, the 15 or the 13 pounds. But I also want to test the 13, how it works. Um, so this guy made me a, a good offer, so I couldn't, I couldn't receive that offer. It was like, what, uh, like 20 something dollars, $28 for the whole set. So these ones are nice high through the, um, from Metrolite for six hour. These ones are for nine millimeter and 357. So if you go, so you guys, if you guys don't know, most of you guys know already, you guys can just swap out the, uh, the, the barrel and use the same magazines from the 357 for 40 uh, Smith and West. There's no problem. The same magazine says 357, 40 Smith and West. Same thing with the barrel, the bore is same, everything is same. All you have to do is remove one, drop the other one in there. And the only thing that you're gonna have maybe uh, to adjust a little bit is on the sides. Because the size doesn't change from nine millimeter to 357, but they change for 40 uh, Smith & Wesson, okay? Also, there's another uh, company that makes a uh, nine millimeter barrel, and that's what I want to get. But it's a little expensive. It's uh, $350 um, for the barrel, but you know, I'm gonna be able to, I prefer pretty much go from 357 to nine millimeters, you know, in a, in a case that, you know, I have to take the gun and that's the only gun that I rely on. So I can, you know, 357 pretty much is gonna be a, a little hard round to find. And I can transition once I'm, I'm done with the with the 357 uh, ammunition to nine millimeters. Also, if you are if you are changing from, uh, let me use an example here. You can use the 40, the 4357 mag for nine millimeters. And it's gonna work perfect, right? There's not gonna be problems, not gonna be any hiccups, right? That's, that's why it is. It's very tight in there, right? It's not gonna come off. It goes one way, but not the other, right? You can go from in this magazine from 40, 57 to nine millimeter, nine millimeters, but you you cannot use on a magazine that is made for nine millimeters, a 40 and 357, all right? That's the catch, all right? So these are sort of, you know, uh, magazines from that gun, you guys can tell they're heavy duty. You know what I mean? Nice build. Um, here, let me take this out of the way. I have um, some six hour that are already shiny, you know, since I polished the gun and match the gun. I got this from eBay um, and they cost me two, four thirty-five uh, ten. So it comes two uh, floor floor mats for thirty-five ten, and they are made of uh, metal. Metal, metal, yep, they're metal, metal. So pretty good, very nice, nice touch. And I will see you, show you guys how they look in the gun. Also, this one is a plus three. Oh, man, I got the first crash right there. This one is a plus three and another one. And another one. I guess they're gonna have scratches. Um, so here we have another uh, Armory Craft magazine this is a uh, extension this is a plus three they comes in this uh you know kind of like flat gray aluminum color and in black but they didn't have the black in stock 
All right, so I got that out of the way. I got the size two out of the way. And then now we go to the meat and potatoes. All right. So we're gonna use this right here. For me, this is a 332. And we're gonna remove the hog. Grips. Man, these hot grips are quality, man. But I want to find the one with the check grip, you know. Not, nothing, you know, that these are not nice, but for shooting. When your hands get sweaty, they're not going to be that okay. Unless you put the, the same, the, the grip tape that I'm going to put. Let's see how that looks. All right, hopefully I get it before this weekend, before I go shooting, so I can show you um, how it looks. Even that, I got some sun in the back. All right, so, um, you guys can see I have polished all these components here, all these components, uh, everything's clean. So, first thing, um, so, I'm gonna recraft. They sell this kit, right? That comes with the uh, red, blue, yellow, and green. Uh, this one is from factory, that, the one that I removed. Uh, hammer spring. So pretty much this is a, the, the strut hammer springs, right? And the way they go is the yellow one is the lighter one. It's a 16 pounds. The red one, which is the one that I have in the gun, is the 17 pounds, the green, 18, the 19, the blue, okay? Only with the blue, you're gonna feel some difference. I don't know by the top of my head, um, what is the uh, the pressure on the Regino spring, but just pressing this one, I can tell that it's more than um, 19 pounds, okay? Um, so in addition, I had changed, right? Um, the short strut, the trigger short strut leg right here. So I would like to show you guys, but I don't have it outside, you know, pretty much. But six this is a six hour hour in a part. They made a small modification, right? Um, it's called the Super Strut. That enhance, enhance the function on the gun. All right. Also, I have um, put the shoe. Uh, the shoe is brand new. It's aluminum. Um, it works pretty good. Um, the other one, you know, every time you put a screwdriver in there, um, you mark it all I mess it up. You know what I mean? And I don't trust this guy, it's just plastic. All right. Well, this one is aluminum. If it breaks, then I can always go back to the original. As you guys can see, when I had the, uh, the old one, I polished everything here, everything that contacts the hammer and the inside, you know, and the spring. Everything was super polished. And believe it or not, little by little, all those details will reduce weight on, and friction on your gun. Uh, so I did the same thing, you guys can see here. It's black, and then start turning to a uh, stainless steel color. I have polished all that. Didn't remove any metal, it just polished it, okay? Same with uh, where the spring runs, okay? Um, I haven't done anything to the hammer. I'm not gonna do anything to the hammer. Of course, I'm not gonna uh, mess with none of that stuff, right? And then I have the sear spring here, which is part of the Marycraft Ultimate Spring ton Tuning, okay? So I have purchased that one uh, prior. You know, I do have another one in purple and then the original one from factory, okay? Um, yeah, so I have changed. I put the red one in the back, which is 17 pounds. 
it's not all the way the lighter. Uh, when I put the lighter, it's too light. I don't know if the primer is, is gonna uh, is gonna go off that good. So I decided to go one up, 17 pounds. Okay, even that, the difference is like like half an ounce on the trigger uh, of an ounce of the trigger pull, right? So this one's simple. There's plenty of videos out there how to uh, put this in here, right? Same with this. All you have to do is push to the front and pull up and then replace it, all right? Too easy. And uh, the trigger is more tedious, you know what I mean? But it's a piece of cake too, you know? It's a piece of cake. It's nothing hard, it's easy. Um, actually, this trigger for this gun, um, it's not gonna do much. It's just, you know, that I like the flat trigger better and uh, it feels better. It feels way better than uh, the older trigger. So this trigger is a cheaper tactical supply. I got it on, on eBay for 40 bucks. Actually, Armory uh, Craft um, have a bad one too, like a badass one too, uh, flat trigger, it's metal metal. So let's see how this hold up, you know. Uh, let's give it a chance. If not, then uh, we we'll jump to the other one, okay? Like I say, anytime I can change to the ASA, you know, just pay for the whole kit, uh, $150 and do it. But that's not the, that's not the point. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have another race gun, all right? Not race gun, but I don't want to enhance it that much. You know, I want to have the deck, but make it better, all right? So, like I say, the only thing that I had changed is the spring in the back. I put the 80 pounds, this portion right here, this shoe, the sear spring, then uh, the trigger. The trigger is not gonna do too much different. I don't have an SRT. You cannot in install an SRT on the DAC model, only in the DASA, okay? Anything else, you know, trans like I said, transition to the uh, DAC to DASA, it's easy, all you have to do is buy, uh, purchase the, uh, the whole kit, all right? But in my case, I don't wanna do it. I have CCs and other better pistols in there. I'm not saying this one is bad, I just wanna keep this one like this, okay? And only with that spring, the sear spring, and of course you wanna put the trigger and if you want to polish all the components, if you can see uh, the hammer bar, I have polished it where it makes contact with the body um, here and the inside and here. Yep. So that's it, buddy. So this gun, it was eight pounds the first pull trick, I mean the first pull, and then on the reset, uh, that's when it gets uh, to eight pounds. And believe me, it is eight pounds. It was eight pounds. I have no reason to lie. If not, I won't be buying all this. All right. So j just to make the, the gun um, better, you don't have to spend that much money. Pretty much all you have to do is polish on components like the through bar. By the strut, the strut uh, is going to cost you right here in this list. Uh, which one is it? Uh, so the whole spray kit is going to cost you $17.95. That's going to that's gonna give you everything you need. You don't have to buy the 28 grams, that's me. You know what I mean? Uh, you can buy these two right here, you know. Uh, probably the 15 pounds. 15 pounds is gonna uh, feel pretty light. I'm buying the 13 pounds just to be, uh, just to see how it works. But in reality, 15 pounds should work perfect. On uh, 1149, uh, the guy rod, you don't have to buy it, but I recommend that for, uh, put a little weight in the front. 
the Armory Craft, uh, this one, it, this one is a must to uh, um, bring that uh, heavy pull down, okay? Um, this one I recommend it. And of course, the hammer strut, $14.99, the short hammer strut. Okay, the rest is just cosmetics like the magazine plate, uh, the flat trigger, and the plus three extension. Okay, and plus everything you see here the grips, the light, and the sights. Okay, the sights uh, were actually not that bad, that was a good deal. You got it for like $28. I love it. All right. So this is all the parts that I have removed. Trigger, plates, the little butt, the strut, the sides the springs and the rod. So all those parts are going in the, re or re I still had the original box. Luckily when I purchased the gun used, um, they gave me the original box. So all those parts are going to the original box. All right. I just can see it's not bad, you know. I don't know how many pounds it is. It's probably like 20, 20 pounds. I don't know, but it's not bad, okay? So now we're gonna measure the, the weight on the spring. We're gonna use the lineman gauge and we're gonna do three pulls. each okay so cock the gun from the first pull we're gonna go slow oops not working there you go from the first pull we're gonna go slow 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 till breaks that is three pounds eight out eight ounces Again, pull, 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 pull. Three pounds, fourteen ounces. Pull, 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 pull. Actually, it was less. I keep pulling. It's fine. Average 3.12. 3.12 ounces. So that's almost four pounds. Four more ounces is going to be uh, um, four pounds. All right. Under four pounds for a trigger that was six pounds in the initial pull. It's a lot of difference. So now we're going for the reset. So we're gonna clear everything and then we're gonna pull it here and we're gonna let it go to the front, reset and pull 4.6. I'll do it again. Right there. I'm gonna let it go to the front. Reset and slow pull. Four four point five. Said we're going to let it go a little bit till the reset again, third time. Four 
click and then pull slow 4.5 it's an average of 4.5 pounds trigger all right which for me is perfect for personal defense carry gun okay i don't think um i need lighter than that with the yellow spring i can go to three pounds three pounds like close to three flat flat pounds or 3.5 all right so i think that's beautiful you know what i mean the initial gun initial pull boom go off and then reset four pounds oops that's like nothing and with this flat trigger it feels way better it feels way better than the curve or the plastic like lock it feels nice it doesn't feel it's four pounds but it doesn't feel like four pounds trigger let me put it that way it feels like a very comfortable trigger you know boom or you can go all the way to the front and get the three pound trigger that's three pounds right there that's four pounds okay i like this gun you know i like so the reason the reason i like uh this gun is because there's no hammer on it there's no decoder and now with these low profile sights it's it's nice it's really nice it feels like a real gun you know what i mean i think um it's being modified in a good way but not in a own safety way all right so any questions any questions that you guys have about uh, this gun you know just let me know all right uh one more last update is gonna be um at the wrench and then uh with the different type of uh, recoil springs okay so i'll probably to the wrench i'm gonna bring these uh, little guys right here just in case the hammer doesn't strike that hard and i have a misfire and then i go up to the green one which is doo -doo -doo. shouldn't be much different to the 18, 18 pounds but i believe the red one you know i've seen uh, a lot of guys recommended the red one and the red one should be fine but i want to try the yellow one because if i can get that three pound trigger with a little longer reset for safety that would be awesome that would be awesome okay so um now go let's go to the looks so you know man you know we got 357 um that's a beautiful round bro as a that's a 40 smith and wesson more velocity in a nine mil bullet If you like nine mil, you can't say you you don't like um, three fifty six, three fifty seven. So uh, this is with the base plates. This is how the base plates looks like. Bam! Look at that. Ooh, nice, nice. The chrome, you know. I like black pistols, you know, but you know, something different something different and with the plus five i mean a plus three what so this one is a 12 round um because you know it's just like it was a 40 smith and wesson that thick around so if it's 12 in the magazine but this plus three it will fit 15 rounds 15 rounds of 357 sig all right and then i have another one um it's in the safe you guys seen it before in uh in the other videos it's a pro mag i don't like it too much not a final pro mag sorry but these uh magazines are legit damn 
This one even says restricted, restricted to law enforcement. Government use only. Well, we are part of the government. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions about this video, um, about this gun, let me know. I know it's a little bit uh, long video, a little conversation. You can fast forward, and, you know, just look whatever part you want. If not, then, you know, don't watch it. But we're here for guns. So please uh, support my channel. Okay, support my channel. I'm giving you good stuff. You know, um, I look around on YouTube and I didn't saw anybody, you know, trying to enhance the deck. The go to the easy one, which is transfer it to DASA. But look at that beauty right there. No decoder, no hammer. Huh? You can get a beautiful, be um, better than that. And you have an initial pull of three pounds and recess of four pounds. All right. So uh, please subscribe, you know, uh, support my channel, support the Second Amendment. Um, most than anything, more than anything, support the Second Amendment. Okay. I do the same for uh, all the guys. I like to watch all the videos. Um, or gut collections, or there's some hard ones out there, uh, good videos, you know, but these guys are pro, and they have, like, millions of subscribers. Maybe someday I can get there, all right, with the help of you guys subscribing to my channel, all right, giving back, giving something back to me for what I give you guys, you know, so it's free, subscribing, so it's free, so please subscribe, support my channel, to grow okay supporting this channel you're supporting the second amendment right and making the force bigger okay please make sure you stay safe you know carry all the time please even if you're going to the the gas station carry even if you're going to check your mail carry your gun okay there's a lot of savages out there you know what i mean there's a lot of bad people out there um adoptions on kids even teenagers adoptions uh, on the in the broad that light um, daylight um think things are getting bad bad guys are getting worse all right we're the good guys. We want to live a good life. You know, we're gonna. We want to have fun with our family and uh, uh, enjoy uh, the years that we have in this air. You know, so we can leave something good for our kids, so they can uh, enjoy it too. But stay safe out there, please. Um, it don't matter what the government says. No matter what Joe Biden says. Carry, 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 okay? If you only knew when you're going to need it, that's what, that would be the only time you carry, but you don't know, okay? And hopefully, you're never going to need it, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching this video.